trade Zella backtesting tutorial and full guide for beginners. So I want to be showing you everything you need to know about the trade Zella backtesting feature inside of the tool, going through everything you need to know so you can become informed and start using the tool properly inside of trade Zella and obviously getting the data that you want while using the tool at the same time. So first and foremost, if you haven't already, uh, make sure to click the top link down below to get the best price and the deal for TradeZella if you haven't signed up already. And make sure to use the coupon code SAVE20 so you can save 20% off, get an instant 20% off discount with the coupon code SAVE20. So instead of paying full price, just simply use the coupon code SAVE20 and you'll get an instant 20% off discount. So with that being said, let's begin today's video. So First and foremost, if you're not really familiar with backtesting, especially with TradeZella, it's pretty much a great way to test and analyze your trading strategies and methods using past data to see how you would have performed in the past. So think of it as pretty much just like doing a practice simulation to help understand if your strategy is working for you without risking your actual real money, right? So that's what why a lot of people love backtesting and that's why I'm making this video for you guys today so you can actually start doing back testing on tradezilla today so to get started with today's video what we want to go ahead and do is click on create a new session now as you can see i have previous sessions of back testing which is why my dashboard has this this thing at the top right here so if we click on create session we can go ahead and create a new session so for today's video i'm going to call it demo for video and you can name the session whatever you'd like it's going to be personally up to you. What we can go ahead and do is choose a playbook or you can create a new playbook, which is just essentially just like a strategy that you're gonna be working with in terms of your trading. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this one. And then you wanna go ahead and choose the type of currency or commodity that you're gonna be trading with. So it can be Forex, stocks, crypto, futures, whatever you'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose, uh, let's just say futures for an example, okay? And then you can choose the symbol. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose, let's just say Euro futures. Then you can choose your starting balance. So this is just going to be like your balance that you're going to be trading with, so to speak. You know, obviously this is not real money. This is just like a practice simulation. So I'm just going to put in, let's put in a million dollars. Or is that a million dollars? I think it's over a million. Yeah, well, oh, okay, let's put in a big amount. And we want to go ahead and choose the start and the end date. So you can choose the, the, the time period, the year, whatever you prefer obviously so let's just choose 2023 march first then if we go over here we are going to choose 2023 april or let's do march 2 have it like that okay and we can click on create session and this is what your backtesting dashboard is going to look like after you finish your backtesting session you can go back to tradezilla and then you can analyze the data as if it was like imported from your exchange with your real data so we actually have a review video where we go through the tradezilla dashboard in more detail and show you how to and show you like the features inside of tradezilla so you can essentially get the same data like access to the same tools to analyze your data data from your backtesting session that we're going to be doing now in today's video which is really really cool anyway let's go through the basics of the tradezilla backtesting area and how, how it all works okay so essentially if you click on play this is going to be a stimulation of like a real live market and this is going to be from like data in the past and again it's going to be a practice simulation to see how you would essentially like you know trade in a real life type of simulation scenario right and you can adjust this so i'm just going to go ahead and pause this you can actually have this go move one candle back if you would like you can have this move one candle forward and you can rewind you can go forward and do all that type of stuff very simple you can jump to a specific candle you can actually change the speed so it goes much more faster so i'm just going to zoom out a little bit and if we click on play you can see that it's going like a lot more faster so if we actually go back to 1x, you'll see that on the time right here, it's actually going in at min minute intervals in terms of the candle. And you can adjust this to go even lower to like even one second intervals depending on your plan to really simulate like a real life scenario. But again, that's going to be up to you. You can even have a go to like five minute candles, 30 minute candles. So I'm just going to leave it as one minute for now and do the same right here as, as well. You can obviously change the view of your graph so I can make this have be like, you know, a bar, hollow candles, 
volume candles, whatever you like that's available right here. I like to just leave it as it is. The normal candles are fine. And again, if, if we change it to, let's just say 10 minutes, if you see the time now, it's two, like 2.04 or 2.05 pretty much. We can play and it's going to five, no, sorry, 10 minute intervals now. So you can see the graph is basically showing you data in 10 minute intervals. So I'll just leave it as one minute. So what we can go ahead and do as well is we can go over here to the settings and we can change the, the symbol in terms of like the colors. So I can change this from like green to whatever color I would like. Same with the red color. And you can do this with the borders, the wicks, and you can adjust all these, you know, the data, data modification to your session precision time zone. You can do all this very simply inside of the settings. In terms of the status line, you can adjust all this right here. The scales and the lines, you can obviously adjust this and change the settings to your liking. And the same with the canvas right here as well. So it's very customizable. You can customize this to your own liking very, sim very simply and very easily. And if we go over here, this is where we're going to be like placing your orders. So as you can see, this is going to be the details. So it shows my current balance, my initial balance, my unrealized PL, and then my realized PL when I start trading, obviously. So you can add journals during trades. It's going to show you the calendar. And if we go over here to place an order, you can put in the number in terms of your contracts. You can have like a market limit or stop order. Would show you the market price and you can adjust all of this right here and what we can also do is add advanced order so if you want to basically for instance put in one percent two percent of your initial balance you'll go ahead and do that for you right here so <laughs> that's crazy two million dollars right here is two percent so obviously this is good because this is like a hundred million dollars so you can trade with big money and practice with that if you like which is pretty cool and of course, because this is like a practice uh, simulation, you know, it's pretty cool to like practice playing with big money because there's no risk in this regard because it's, you know, not real. So yeah, you can, if I want to go ahead and buy, I can buy this right now and the order successfully placed. And I can, of course, close my position very simply. So I'm just going to click on close position and there you go. What you can also go ahead and do is if we go over here to the graph, it's like the left hand column right here. There's lots of different tools that you can use inside of TradeZilla's backtesting dashboard in terms of like crosses, trend line tools, all sorts of different tools. But what you can go ahead and do as well is you can add long and short positions via this graph through the left hand column. So if we zoom in right here, I can add a long position right here. So as you can see, I can adjust this target to my liking. I can make it smaller. I can do the same with the stop loss right here, whatever I prefer. And it's quite simple as well. And I can of course delete this if I don't like it for whatever reason. And I can go ahead and do that inside of TradeZilla's backtesting tool. So as you can see, it's quite customizable and it's pretty much a real life stimulation. It's a great way to practice different strategies and methods and things you want to actually apply in terms of your trading. So that's why I really like that backtesting tool because it's quite powerful in that regard. And what we can go ahead and do, so let's just say for whatever reason, we can even like, you know, go in from time and like see and like the data and all that if you want to go ahead and skip a little bit. But the point being is like you can end your, your backtesting session whenever you want. You don't have to like fully end it from like the date you start and from the date you end. But if you go back over here, if we go back, we can actually analyze the data based on the trades that we made inside of this back testing experience, which is very, very, very cool. So as you can see, we have finished my back testing session for the video example. And if we go over here, this is what we, this is our session that we did today. We can go over here and click on session results. And this is the magic guys, where you can see everything in terms of your stats right here inside of TradeZilla. You can see your net PNL, your trade win percentage, your profit factor, daily win, average win and loss, uh, Zella score, and all the stats you'll normally see inside of your uh, trade Zella dashboard, which is very, very, very cool. So you can see your daily journal here as well. If you write down notes, you can analyze individual trades and you'll be prompted, prompted with a graph that shows you everything as you can see on screen. You can go over here to notebooks. So again, your notebooks are gonna be here, playbooks, which is going to be your strategy. 
and this is going to be the most detailed area which is going to be the reports area where you can see all of your statistics right here this is an area which i would highly recommend going through in a lot of detail so you can really analyze your data inside your back testing session you can go over here to reports and look at the reports based on the day and the time you can see the days you know in terms of the statistics you know statistics regarding the months trade time trade duration it gives you so many statistics that you can utilize right off the bat so you can see what went right during your back testing session and what didn't obviously go to plan in terms of maybe some losses that you might have made during your back testing session so you, can, you have all this data you can utilize so even like with you know in terms of they give you like reports based on the symbols risk playbooks tags options win versus well, win versus losses so a lot of data you can go ahead and work with right off the bat which is something that i definitely do appreciate when it comes to the back testing feature and how it's integrated with the trade zeller tool in regards to like pretty much like putting your data inside of the of the trade seller tool and actually analyzing it which is the most valuable aspect you know obviously you get to practice a stimulation of the back testing tool in terms of like the trading environment and then you can pretty much like put that into trade sellers like back testing dashboard to analyze your trades which is very cool what you can go ahead and do as well is you can choose the back testing session so you can pretty much like analyze the back testing session of any of your current you know previous sessions so if i wanted to like do the, the made the one called may or the one called tesla video instead of the demo for video i could uncheck this and then, ch and then check the other ones or i could even click on all the sessions if i want to see the data for all my sessions you can adjust the filters based on a day a particular day or a date range and then you can adjust the filters regarding general stuff via tags date and time playbook so you can pretty much filter this information via your back testing dashboard very very easily and customize it to the way you like it so that's pretty much it for today's tradezilla back testing tutorial and guide video now if you have if you don't actually have tradezilla already i'll provide a link down below so you can actually try it out and get it for the best price possible make sure to use the coupon code save 20 so you can actually save an instant 20 percent off discounts so instead of paying full price right here for either the basic or the premium plan you can save 20 percent off instant discount just by using the coupon code save 20. so that's pretty much it so yeah thanks for watching today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what are your thoughts of the backtesting tool for tradezilla and yeah, thanks for watching today's TradeZilla backtesting tutorial video guide.